Hey, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA, Elite Total Body Care, and a private label hair care company. So today we have a new client. She came in um, wanting to get an alopecia weaving service. As you guys can tell, she has alopecia in her crown area, and it does kind of protrude slightly back towards her occipital bone. So what we started out by doing was I gave her a very slight, more say, texturizer. Um, her initial... Um, request of course was for a anything that was going to allow her to have some sort of style um, because she's just not able to wear her own hair so instead of me doing a full-on relaxer I texturized the sides and the back um, because her curl pattern actually wasn't very tight and I still wanted to leave a little bit of density in those areas as much possible um, in the crown area as you guys can tell, I molded her hair down using a little bit of styling gel to create a foundation for our weaving service. And then I used some of our Elite Silk Wrap Foam around the sides and back just to lay that area down. Now, when it comes on to an alopecia weaving service, my ultimate goal, as I always say in all my videos, is to protect the integrity of the hair that is still there, no matter how much or how little is available. So. What you guys did not get to see in the video is that I did put a protectant solution, which is a silicone based solution also over that area. So she has three different layers of protection. And then this part you guys never really get to see. So in order for my clients to have their um, weaving service or alopecia service um, with a little more longevity, we've come up with a way to allow that area um, to last a lot longer, especially for those clients who perspire a lot. So I am actually going to apply a weaving net over this area, and that is going to be a fourth barrier of protection on top of her hair, but no glue will actually touch her hair, okay? So if you guys look at the top there, you'll see where the net is on the top of her head. Now for the sides and the back, I did go through and silk out her hair. Remember at the beginning, I did state that we did a mild texturizer, but I did still need the hair to be straight for us to be able to mimic the texture of the extensions that we're using. She did forget to bring her hair, which hair is not included in this service unless requested. Um, but I did have a pack of hair uh, available at the salon. It was a different color, but it was available. So instead of me turning my client away or saying hey we can't do it whatever the case may be we made it work for her and of course you know i'm always willing to help wherever i absolutely can and she actually drove about two to three hours to get to me so i wanted to make sure that i was able to service her and have her leaving even more um beautiful than when she came that she's already beautiful as it is so we're just going to enhance her beauty slightly Anyway, um, as you guys can tell, I have finished the silk out process. So I did go through and trim her hair. Even though she has alopecia, you guys, it does not mean that you don't have to actually care for the hair that she does still have, okay? You don't wanna neglect any other hair just because one area has a problem. That is the worst thing you can do because then you're just gonna extend the alopecia into areas that you didn't even want it to go. So definitely nurture the hair that is available no matter how short, how long, or how sparse and still protect that hair to the best of your ability as well. So after I trimmed her hair is when we started to apply the extensions. The extensions are only going to go in the crown area. Now a little disclaimer you guys, she has four levels of protection in this area. So that is why you see me freely applying the adhesive on top of the head because she has four levels of protection there. So no glue is actually touching her scalp. No glue is actually touching the actual hair. There is no actual way for the glue to penetrate the four levels of protection that we have already done. And that area is thoroughly dry, which is also a part of how this protection works, okay? So now we are applying the extensions. The reason why I apply it directly to the area is because it allows me to move a lot faster and it allows that glue to dry a lot faster than me actually applying it to the extensions itself. Everyone does this different. There is no right or wrong way. If some people like to apply it to the extensions, some people don't. So it's really just by choice. This part I sped up really quick because it's 
<laughs> I didn't want you to sit in a video for two hours watching me apply extensions. So, And it's not two hours. But I wanted you guys to see the actual process because you never really get to see me do it from start to finish. I always cut the video somewhere in between. So you guys actually got to see me applying the tracks really quickly. And now we are going to apply what we call the closure, which is what you see me making. And that is going to close off the top. You want your closure to be nice and seamless. It's very important. You want your closure to not have um, any bulkiness to it. You want it to lay nice and flat. Okay, so that is definitely the goal. And of course, um, your closure, you don't want a hole in it. Nobody wants to see like an open space up there. So that's definitely important. One of the tracks actually slipped out as I was working. So I'm just going to go back and just kind of fix that really quickly. How you fix that, add a little bit of glue and then we're done. I always tell my clients, I don't recommend them trying to re-glue tracks at home. Um, it just never turns out well. Either they use way too much because they get really heavy handed. Like, honestly, I just try to tell my clients, do not do this at home. Let me do it at the salon. Now, this service can last up to about three to four weeks um, with absolute care. Um, and it also can last less than three to four weeks if you don't care for it or if it's something where it's just not being treated in the right way. Some people be a little a little too rough or something of that nature. But the method that we've used to do these alopecia weaving services has proven to be really, really, really successful um, when it comes on to longevity and also protection of the client's hair. So I really like this method. My clients like this method. They typically come back in about three to four weeks and we can do the service again or even change the style. So in the front of her um, or the, the face area, uh, all I did was really just create a part. When you're doing these weaving services, as much as we would love to have that open part, um, I see a lot of stylists do this thing called an invisible part, and I just do not agree with the invisible part. I just, I don't like it. If I'm going to do something of that nature, I'd rather use a frontal or a closure piece, which is another thing that I also have began offering to my Afro alopecia clients, doing like a frontal service rather than just doing a full-on weave. But I'm also one of those people where... Placement is everything, and sometimes frontals and closures are not full enough in my for my liking, but it is something that we definitely can improvise with and use. So a lot of you don't know, but I am accepting new clients at this point. Um, I had to kind of figure out that, you know, God placed me in a, in a position to help as many people as possible. And while I would love to travel and offer my services, I'm going to kind of let up on the traveling for a while because I need to focus on home and my business at home um, before I bring my business abroad. But um, for those of you that do want to get service by me or <laughs> uh, myself, I am accepting new clients and I am actually hiring for another stylist that would be able to work the days that I don't work and I'll be able to train her to be able to offer these services just the same. Um, when it comes down to booking an appointment with me, um, the only way to book an appointment is to visit my website, which is EliteHairCareUSA.com. And you'll go to the book section of the menu and that is how you get an appointment i know a lot of you would love to call and chat about your hair but unfortunately i do not have the capacity to do that and service clients and run a business so you guys just kind of bear with me if you don't know what service to book there is a consultation service on my website that is called what um what should i book and that is an electronic service that will basically tell you what service to book um, and, you know, what service you might need. And then we can go from there. Now, what I'm doing with her is I'm just going through and flat ironing her hair and the extensions. Now, keep in mind, the extensions are a different color, you guys. It's slightly browner than her hair because that is what we had available going forward. We will, of course, use... Um, her hair color and then we also talked about adding highlights where you know it didn't even matter if whatever color we used because we were able to just give her some some emphasis and depth in the style so the color is really up to you okay you guys so there's no right or wrong when it comes on to the hair color and then for her to care for this at home um she can pin curl it or she can even wrap it like a regular style wrapping it is most is the most ideal way to care care for it i am tongue-tied why because it's just going to kind of melt the hair 
with her hair and when I say melt the hair I mean blend it really nicely naturally with your own natural body oils so you know wrapping it or pin curling it is the ideal way to care for it I don't suggest putting heat on it every single day because her hair is still involved and she does perspire a lot so leaving her hair out in more places than none is going to allow her to still be able to perspire without it affecting the extensions if it was a full-on extension service where everything was covered from head to toe she is going to perspire a lot more so this works out especially for those who sweat a lot um, this method that we use allows those who sweat a lot to still keep their extensions um, because there are so many levels of protection and their hair is out on the under um, or the underneath the extensions let me say it that way so I want you guys to also comment, um, I forgot to say that before, comment, tell me what you guys think of the finished style. If you're not already following Elite Hair Care USA or not subscribed to my channel, please go and follow us on Instagram at EliteHairCareUSA.com and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is exactly where I am, you guys. I'm on Instagram and I'm on YouTube. I try not to use too many other platforms anymore. I'm learning where I need to be is where I need to be. So Instagram and YouTube is exactly where I am. And we are trying to really build up our Instagram following. So please go and follow us on Instagram at Elite Hair Care USA. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now you guys comment. Tell me what you think about the finish style. I think it was beautiful. I love full bangs. Like I'm just one of those people. I love it. I just loved it. Color was good. I feel like for the next service, we are going to do a little bit of highlighting to bring a little bit of light towards her face. Um, we may change the color. We may not. But it just really depends on her and how she liked it. Um, she said everybody loves her hair, by the way. So I was super proud of that. And then, listen, just beautiful. Okay? Let me just say it's beautiful. I loved it. It blended well. So you guys comment. Tell me what you think about the blend. Tell me what you think about the style. Be encouraging, you guys, because guess what? Everybody has that thing that they want to look good and feel good. And this is exactly what made her feel good. So I am super, super happy. That is my job every single day to make another person smile. So thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, don't forget to comment and also thumbs up this video. And then what I'm doing right now is teaching her how to put her bang up out of her face when she's sweating. Um, and that's basically just doing a pin curl. So that's something you can do as well. Whenever you're having, maybe you're having a hot flash or something and you have this service, pull the hair out of your face and it will allow you to cool down a lot faster. But thanks you guys for watching for the 19th time. I'll see you guys in the next video.